Hey guys and welcome back to another video and I hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today sorry about the crappy lightning but I had no way to show you the projector and also my face a little bit lightning along with the phone so that's the way it is now what I'm going to share with you today is that as you guys know or most of you guys know I'm a teacher work in a classroom and one of the things that sometimes people ask me hey Robert do you use any app to mirror your phone to the computer and then to the projector to show to your class and the answer is yes and through the years I've been using quite a few apps but one of the latest ones that I've been using for quite a few months and with great results especially in terms of reliability because in a classroom a few seconds are a few seconds that you can capture or lose the attention of your audience and one of the things that I want to show you right over here is that uh, it's really quick now one of the things that i will mention as well i will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out but it's cross-platform so i'll be using my macbook pro but you can use a windows computer android and i will be using also an iphone so that we can check several scenarios here now one of the things that i want to show you guys is this one right over here which is i'm talking to my audience and at any moment i want to show something that it's on my phone so that i can explain how to do it and Right over here in the options, if I select uh, the mirroring option, there we go. No software installed here, just on the MacBook Pro. Now what I can do, and I'm going closer to the projector so that you guys can see, uh, is that I can show anything that I've got on my phone. And let's imagine that I want to show something related to this in this particular case Google News, which is interesting, but not for a classroom probably, but I could show uh, something right over here so it's just great now you can see some latency or delay but it's a delay that it's totally acceptable for what we are uh, doing in a classroom showing I don't know if we want to show uh, the options of a app for example uh, then we can just use your imagination this is great if I want to capture my attention here but I know that what I'm touching I'm showing to my audience now i just want to show you as well really easily how i can uh, just turn this one off and if i go to wireless display i can just say i want to disconnect and bam there we go and if i grab my iphone right over here this is the iphone 11 pro but you can use uh, with any iphone and if i go to screen projector i can just show you right over here if it focus it will show my uh, macbook pro right over here here and once I select it there we go it's on the screen so something really quickly that I can just um, switch from one phone to another phone or a tablet it doesn't even need to be a phone but a phone is something that it's always with us and of course I can do exactly the same that I was doing with the Android phone uh, not really sure if I showed if we can just go horizontal so if I want to show any content that is on horizontal I can do that really easily just by uh, switching the phone here and there there are a few options that I will show you but before that I want to show you something also that in my opinion is really interesting which is this I can have more than one phone more than one device on my computer actually I don't know the limitations but we can have quite a few so if I want to show something on the Android side and have the iPhone on the other side or switch them around I can do that uh, and as you can see I can move both of them of course this is not probably a ideal situation because it will be a lot of information passing to that side but probably I want to show I don't know a comparison on the iPhone side uh, how we can see an app for example just imagining here and I can show the same app on the Android side and just um, show if there's any differences I don't know just just imagine the possible scenarios that we can do with with this which is great and once again I can have a phone I can have a tablet I can have whatever there are a, there is a version sorry uh, which is called teacher but I haven't tried that one I imagine that it has a lot more features or differences but this one for the type of work that I do in my classroom has been Great. and now I just want to share with you guys a few more options but I'll show you on that screen so here we are still with the two phones I'm going to disable the Android phone for a moment because we don't need it so wireless display and 
uh, connect it here, disconnect, and now we only have the iPhone. Now the iPhone, we don't really need the iPhone for now. I can leave it right over here. What I want to show you is a few options that we have. Now, first of all, we can select on any phone the frames that we want, in this particular case for iPhones. Uh, mine is the 11 Pro, it's still not here, but uh, who cares? <laughs> and then we have the scale, which is default, but we can fill the screen. Uh, or best for Retina Mac, but I really enjoy the way that it looks right over here, especially on a projector. And then next we have the automatic rotation, which was uh, what I was showing uh, earlier on, on the projector, which I can just move the phone and it will show me like this, but we can, uh, let's say, force portraits and it's not going to change, so it's going to be like this, which is, which is in my opinion, not very friendly but it's a option i'm going to leave it on automatic and uh, there's also an option which is the always on top let's imagine that i've got a image right over here but if i select always on top the image is not going to be in front of it so that's one of the things that we might consider i don't know it might be useful in some case scenarios and then we also have the full screen and if I press full screen right over here, basically it will remove everything from my uh, screen and probably the best way to show this is once again on the projector. Basically, as you could see, I had a lot of things here on my desktop. So if I select full screen, uh, basically it will hide everything and just focus the audience uh, attention here on the app or whatever I'm showing on the phone. Now, getting back to the screen right over here and let's leave the full screen mode. One more thing that I really enjoy is that I can select and take pictures um, or screenshots to be more precise and I'm going to replace I just recorded on my Portuguese channel but here it is the image that we just took and one more interesting feature is that I can also record my capture right over here in terms of um, the phone, what I'm doing with the phone, I'm recording right over here. Of course, I can record the screen on the iPhone itself, but it's great to have the option. Probably I want to use this uh, for after the presentation and instead of using storage here on the phone, I'm using storage here on the computer. So if I press stop, it will take a little bit to render. Then we just need to save and it, once again, replacing the video that I've just recorded uh, previously. And what we can see right over here is basically what we have Record it. It also records my voice recorded through the Mac Pro, but of course, if you use any other laptop, it will uh, work the same way. And basically, this is it, guys. Hopefully, this video was helpful, especially for those of you that work on a classroom or if you don't work on a classroom but you i don't know you want to use this kind of feature to record the screen and so on and so forth then it might be useful but in my particular case and in my experience this is the ideal scenario when i'm in a classroom and i want to show something and i don't want to be worried if it's going to work or not and as you can see just switch it off and once again really great i want to switch it on again and bam there it is i don't need to worry about any i don't know crazy scenarios where i'm waiting for the app and the students are okay this teacher is a bit bad <laughs> You understand my point of view. Guys, I'm going to shut up. not going to take more of your time. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.